What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, we're setting up and testing out the Game Hub Fusion emulator on an entry-level Snapdragon device. And this is the official page of the Game Hub Fusion emulator. As most of you already know, it's currently one of the best and most well-optimized emulators out there after WinLater. It offers better performance, improved compatibility thanks to custom Wine GPU driver support, and comes with a fully user-friendly interface. It even supports Steam integration, which is a big plus. Right now, version 3.0.4 is the latest release. They've fixed a lot of bugs compared to the previous versions, and performance is noticeably better. If you've already got it installed, you can simply install this as an update. Now the phone I'm using for this test is the Moto G45. It's the 8GB RAM variant, powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 with the Adreno 619 GPU. This chipset is essentially an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 695, and it comes with the latest driver updates as well. Alright, I'll just close everything in the background and we'll begin. Open Game Hub Emulator. The setup process is the same as always. I know a lot of you have been hearing about the recent news around WinLater, specifically the concerns about viruses or other potential security issues. Hopefully, that gets sorted soon. But in the meantime, Still, the Game Hub Fusion is a solid alternative. Allow all the necessary permissions, and there we go. We're now on the main interface. As usual, go to the PC Games Library, tap on Add Game. I always recommend copying a pre-installed PC game directly into your device's download folder. Then just add the game's executable file, and it should get detected automatically. Confirm it and the emulator will configure the necessary drivers based on your phone. You can also tweak custom settings later if needed. In this video, I'll be testing GTA 5 with various settings on this phone. All right, the game's added. Let's head into its settings. First, let's go with the lowest resolution, 800 by 600 P. Enable DirectX HUD if you want real-time FPS readings. Now go to compatibility. Here the compatibility layer is set to Wine 9.5 x64 based. Here set GPU driver. So, this time they have added more drivers even for the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is a good. Also, for 8 Gen 3. Turnip drivers for 8 Gen 2 or lower a lot. Here set Turnip driver version 25 R6. For the Adreno 619 or lower GPU if you are using. Which is currently stable for it. Set DXVK version to 1.10.3, as it's well optimized for the GTA 5. Set Box 64 version to 0.28. Set VRAM limit to 3 to 4 gigs. If you are using 6 gigs of RAM or lower, then prefer 1 or 2 gigs of memory. Here controller is already enabled. And also, enable input mapping for on-screen controls. Alright, now these are the best recommended settings. Let's go back and load the game. And there we go, it's loaded. We're getting around 24 frames per second, which is actually pretty decent for a budget phone. By default, the game is set to DirectX 11, which is more performance intensive. So let's head into the game's settings and switch it to DirectX 10 preset, with everything set to normal. Let's go ahead and load the game again. Here I'm going to test it on different settings starting from the 800 by 600 resolution to the maximum. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the test. Also do check out the timestamps mentioned below.
that's my last time for giving you Whatever. What's up, Simia? My dear boy. So good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It's the reason Simia pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. Yeah, okay, so I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and a deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G's? With the 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dog. Man, this whole setup designed to take drug money. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the test. Honestly, GTA 5 is playable even on this budget Snapdragon device. Still, it holds up on 1080p resolution. Like, really impressive performance considering the hardware. Which is not bad at all. If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.